Signing season is well underway at Wrexham Football Club. We have announced our second signing of the summer. We have confirmed the signing of Lewis Brunt on an undisclosed fee from Leicester City. A signing that I think we can all say we definitely did not expect. He was not on the list of players that we were expecting to sign today, but he has been announced through the HP printer. And we're going to be talking about what we can expect from Lewis Brunt, why he joined Wrexham Football Club. So before we get going in today's video, if you are looking for all the best Wrexham OC content on YouTube, make sure to click the red subscribe button. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Make sure to drop a like as well. Drop a like if you are happy with the signing of Lewis Brunt. And drop a comment what your thoughts on the signing are. So Wrexham have confirmed the signing of Lewis Brunt. Now you might remember Lewis Brunt as he did play last year on loan at Mansfield Town, playing 34 times, having an average rating of 7.03 throughout the season, playing a big role, of course, in Mansfield Town's promotion to League One. And for what we know, from what we can see from a brief bit of research on social media, we can see that Nigel Clough has said that Lewis Brunt was Mansfield Town's number one target going into the transfer window in League One. So we've beaten off competition, of course, from a fellow League One side. I'll be honest, Brunt wasn't a name I was all too familiar with. So a quick Google, obviously seen he gained promotion last year to League One with Mansfield. He's been at Leicester City. He's learned his trade at Leicester. He's played in the FA Cup. He's played a couple of Premier League appearances. And looking at his stats now, Wrexham have described him as a ball-playing defender. We can look at his passing stats. I think they do it justice. He's made 1,239 successful passes 81% pass accuracy and a long ball accuracy of 51.2% which is in the top 89 percentile of players in League 2 last season. He had a very successful year. Mansfield, I've seen their fans saying they want him to sign. They were hoping that he would become their first permanent signing of the transfer window but he's decided to come to the pride of North Wales Wrexham Football Club. This is a signing that definitely excites me and I enjoyed watching this because you know, let's be honest, there are a couple of names that we might have expected, Tom Bradshaw, Joe Morrell, but to have a player out of the blue and to you know not to expect this player, I think just brings back the thrill of the transfer window. It was nice to have this back again, completely out of the blue. It's for an undisclosed fee. So I do believe we'll have probably played maybe a six figure fee for him. I can't see Leicester accepting anything less than six figures. So of course, at such a young age, 23 years old, he's got a bright future ahead of him. He showed some really good signs at Mansfield Town. The fans seem to really praise him. I think he won Director's Player of the Season at Mansfield last year, and he played an instrumental role in their backline, of course, as they gained promotion alongside Wrexham and Stockport County. Of course, with the departures of Jordan Tunnicliffe, Ben Toza, Aaron Hayden, defence was definitely an area that we did need to strengthen in. And, you know, Jordan, Sonny Cliff, Ben Toza, they're all pushing 30s. To get a youngster in to just freshen things up at the back and have a ball-playing defender who's, like I've already said multiple times, he's shown some really promising signs at Mansfield Town last season and was definitely destined what people are saying to get another big League One or Championship move. He's done exactly that. He signed for Wrexham. He's put pen to paper on an undisclosed fee until 2027. So we've got him for a solid three years. Will he be a starter at Wrexham? I definitely think there's a chance. I do think there's a chance that he could slot on that right-hand side in that right centre-back role going into this campaign. Parkinson has, of course, probably done a thorough scouting report on Lewis Brunt. And to win promotion last year with Mansfield, Mansfield really wanted him back. He was their number one target. So to get him in, I definitely don't think we'll expect to see Lewis Brunt sitting on the bench week in, week out. I do think he might start the first few games of the season unless anything does change in regards to bringing in more centre-backs. But as it stands... I can definitely see Lewis Brunt being a starter in the back line. Lewis Brunt has spoke on his move to Wrexham saying, I'm over the moon to get the deal signed and over the line and I can't wait to get going. Everyone knows the story behind Wrexham. It's a club with great history and big ambitions for where it wants to go. So to join that journey is a good feeling. I think we're all happy to have Lewis Brunt on board, of course, at Wrexham. And Phil Parkinson had his say on the signing saying, Lewis will be a very good signing for us and he's a very good young player. He did exceptionally well in his first full season at Mansfield and he will be a player that has a lot of development in him I believe that he'll be a great acquisition for us so yeah big big signing an exciting signing hopefully the first of many to come in the next few weeks for the football club of course it's not long now until our USA tour I'm sure we'll 
in my opinion, I reckon we might see three or four new players signed for Wrexham. We fly out at the end of the month and the season starts in just over a month's time. So it's good to get our two first signings on the board and two very impressive signings to say the least. That was of course Brunt's first real season as a footballer. You know, at 23 years old, he's still young. You know, of course he's played for Leicester, but he's played for Gloucester City, but he's really kicked on last season in his first full season. So it's definitely clear to see that is massive, massive potential in Lewis Brunt. And I don't want to big him up too much, but with a signing like this, you've got to be happy. You've got to be excited. He looks a really good player on paper, winning awards at Mansfield last season, winning promotion. You know, Mansfield Town fans saying they really want him to sign is their number one target, their priority for the transfer window. So to get him over the line is massive for us and a massive addition to the back line. And We've got some stats here about Lewis Brunt's time at Mansfield Town. 38 appearances, 19 games won, 11 clean sheets, 2 goals, 1 goal assisted, 2 man of the matches and of course a promotion to League One. So what a season Lewis Brunt had at Mansfield Town last year. I'm sure Mansfield fans, if you're watching this, will let me know in the comment section down below what type of player he was for you and I'm sure he will be a massive, massive miss. So overall, a very, very exciting signing to see Wrexham AFC get across the line. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Welcome to Wrexham Lewis Brunt. And yeah, like I said, that's hopefully just the start of a few more signings to come at Wrexham over the next couple of weeks. So yeah. Welcome to Wrexham, Lewis Brunt, and let's hope he can be a very good player and continue to flourish at Wrexham. Like I said, like the video, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We're on the road to 25,000, so if you could help me out, help the channel, that'd be massively appreciated, and I'll see you in another video. Take care, guys. Up the town.